South Prairie Construction Co. v. Local No. 627, International Union of Operating Engineers, AFAL CIO, 425 U.S. 800 1976, is a U.S. labor law case, concerning the scope of labor rights in the United States. Facts The Union, Local No. 627 of the International Union of Operating Engineers claimed that the South Prairie Construction Co. and Peter Kiewit Sons Co. were both a single employer, and that they were committing an unfair labor practice under the National Labor Relations Act 1935 Section 8 a. 5 by refusing to apply a collective agreement to them. The Union was already the representative of the bargaining unit. The administrative law judge held that the firms were one employer. The National Labor Relations Board held that South Prairie Co. and Kiewit Co. were separate employers. The Court of Appeals, D.C. Circuit, decided the firms were a single employer, reversing the NLRB decision under radio and television broadcast technicians Local Union 1264 v. Broadcast Service 1965 USSC 51, 380 U.S. 255 1965. Topic. Judgment The Supreme Court found that the D.C. Circuit had legitimately identified two corporations as a single employer given that they had a "...very substantial qualitative degree of centralized control of labor," but that further determination of the relevant bargaining unit should have been remitted to the NLRB. Stating that it was applying the criteria recognized by this court in radio and television broadcast technicians Local Union 1264 v. Broadcast Service, 380 U.S. 255, 85 S. Court 876, 13 L. Ed. 2D 789 1965, 3 The Court of Appeals disagreed with the board and decided that on the facts presented Kiewit and South Prairie were a single employer. It reasoned that in addition to the presence of a very substantial qualitative degree of centralized control of labor relations." The facts "...evidence a substantial qualitative degree of interrelation of operations and common management one that we are satisfied would not be found in the arm's-length relationship existing among unintegrated companies." 171 U.S. App. D.C. 102, 108, 109, 518 F2D 1040, 1046, 1047 1975. The board's finding to the contrary was, therefore, in the view of the Court of Appeals, "...not warranted by the record." I.D. At 109, 518 F2D, at 1047. The Court of Appeals was evidently of the view that since the board dismissed the complaint it had necessarily decided that the employees of Kiewit and South Prairie would not constitute an appropriate bargaining unit under Section 9. But while the board's opinion referred to its cases in this area and included a finding that, "...the employees of each constitute a separate bargaining unit." 206 NLRB 562, 563 1973. Its brief discussion was set in the context of what it obviously considered was the dispositive issue, namely, whether the two firms were separate employers. We think a fair reading of its decision discloses that it did not address the unit question on the basis of any assumption, arguendo, that it might have been wrong on the threshold. Employer issue, in foreclosing the board from the opportunity to determine the appropriate bargaining unit under Section 9, the Court of Appeals did not give due observance to the distribution of authority made by Congress as between its power to regulate commerce and the reviewing power which it has conferred upon the courts under Article 3 of the Constitution. FCCV, Pottsville Broadcasting Co., 1940 USSC 15, 309 U.S. 134, 141 1940 USSC 15, 60 S. Court 437, 440 1940 USSC 15, 84 L. Ed., 656, 661 1940
The petitions for certiorari are accordingly granted, and that part of the judgment of the Court of Appeals which set aside the determination of the Board on the question of whether Kiewit and South Prairie were a single employer is affirmed. That part of the judgment which held that the two firms' employees constituted the appropriate bargaining unit for purposes of the Act, and which directed the Board to issue an enforcement order, is vacated, and the case is remanded to the Court of Appeals for proceedings consistent with this opinion. See also United States labor law Topic Notes Topic External Links Text of South Prairie Const Co. v. Local No. 627, International Union of Operating Engineers, AFL-CIO, 425 U.S. 800 is available from, just a library of Congress Worldly I.